Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Civilization VI. Today I want to talk about nuclear weapons and if they're balanced in the game. So nuclear weapons, you unlock them actually pretty early in the game. Uh, you can unlock them through the modern era, but you know, the game lasts a bit longer than normal, so you know, you get nukes kind of early, mid, almost like late, early late game, yeah. But are they balanced, you know? so. First of all, creating a nuclear weapon uses uranium, but you don't maintain it with uranium. You actually pay a lot of gold for it. It's, a lot, it's expensive to maintain these nuclear weapons, right? I think that the maintenance on a normal one on online speed, so double speed, is I'm pretty sure 14 gold. I think it used to be eight, now it's 14. There's policies that help you, you know, get a discount on maintenance, but it's not that big, you know. Um, I like that, you know, it eliminates the units in the area and cripples a city, but I like how you can take a city, but your unit's probably gonna die of radiation poisoning. In my opinion, I think that um, if a unit ends its turn in a radiated zone, I don't really know how much health it should lose, but I think it's pretty good. I know for me, you know, as a player, if I nuke someone, they have a chance of recovery, right? Because the, like, encampment district could be placed too far away from their city to hit it with one nuke, so I have to use a, a thermonuclear device, which is even deadlier and takes up more space. For me, I think that thermonuclear devices are overpowered just because of how much area, I mean like, two hexes out from it. You can hit two cities with a thermonuclear device. Like, bruh, that's a lot. That's a big range, you know? And you can easily just cap two cities. Now you can defend, I like that, you know, bombers and fighters, they're, they're pretty balanced pretty well to where, you know, if they got fighters positioned, that bomber ain't dropping a nuke. You know, if they got fighter planes positioned to get rid of your bombers, ain't no way you're dropping a nuke. I don't know how the missile silo works, you know. I, don't, I barely use it, I use bombers. But I think that overall, if the AI used more nukes, I think that nukes would be balanced. The AI refuses to use nukes, and I think that makes nukes a little bit overpowered. Now in Gathering Storm, I actually haven't used nuclear weapons because they emit CO2, and I'm scared of like, you know, they're, they're a lot more global effect now because it's not like, oh, he just went to war with this player and nuked him. It's like, no, you nuked him and now we're losing tiles faster. Thanks a lot, idiot, you know? So I think nuclear weapons are, I think when it comes to the AI, they're a little more like, uh, you're dumb. I think when it comes to players, players probably don't care. I mean, I don't care about the environment when I play Civ 6. I mean, I kind of do, because, you know, then I gotta build flooded barriers, but honestly, the environment, I think, I think the environment is a little underpowered, if anything. So, you know, for me, I think nukes are pretty balanced. I think they should take out thermal nuclear devices. Uh, they're a little bit too powerful. Or maybe, like, rebalance them somehow. I don't know how they would do that. Maybe make it so that, uh, I don't know, they like have a radiation area that's different. I don't know, but I think yeah, nukes are pretty balanced in the game. I wish the AI used them more. Uh, I think if the AI used them a lot more, like they actually use them effectively, it would change military tactics a lot. So, let me know what you think about in the comments below, guys. Do you use nukes in Civ 6? I found myself not using nukes too much, but every once in a while I do. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.